everyone. Um, D Slaz. I have no idea who I am. And today we're gonna talk about the seasons. And specifically, how do they change? And it all has to do with the sun, as most of you probably know. And Earth's access point uh, is tilted 23 degrees. And Earth makes a full circle around the sun in 365 days. So but sometimes again, 366. Please continue. All right. And makes a full circle around its orbit in 24 Ellipse. hours. So, a day. Oh, okay. Now, if you imagine my finger being the sun and this pen being our planet, which is actually what it looks like in space, children. When it goes around the sun and when it's summer in the southern hemisphere, it's winter in the northern hemisphere. And then the same way, six months later. But how does that happen? Nobody's going to tell you. And to figure that out, we'll need darkness, and we're going to need an iPhone. I'm afraid of the dark. Come on, turn your thing yes. on. Yes, here. Yeah. And we'll need a globe. That's what this is. So, the darkness is space, the globe is Earth. And the flashlight is, oh my god, my eyes, the sun. It is, those things. And when it's winter, a.k.a. the coldest time of the year, the sun is over here. Well, this is winter for the northern hemisphere. Because it's over here. You can't even see it because it's so cold. And it's summer in the south. And Antarctica has six months of just daylight. Yeah. Daylight. Because it's on the poles. And people don't know when to sleep there. Wait, what's up with the sun being in different places in the Earth's sky? Is it like moving or what? Well, it's not really moving anywhere. It's not going up or down. The Earth is just spinning. And it depends on where on Earth you are. It appears that the sun is in different places. Yes, I just smashed your face with freaking knowledge. And it depends on where on Earth you are. It seems that the sun is in different places at the same time of the day. But wait, does it really seem that? Or is it true? Well, it is true. And that's only logical at the same time of the day. And because of these processes, orbiting and rotation, if you take a picture at noon in the summer, and then you take a picture in the same place at noon in the winter, the sun in the summer picture will be higher in the sky. Ton, ton, ton. Do you hear those tons? There were three. But why is the average te temperature of the Earth is... <clears throat> but why the average temperature of the Earth is rising? Is it that we are closer to the sun? Is it we are moving in space or something? Yeah! No, not really. It's because in the last hundred years or so, because of all this stuff we've been doing, it's been putting a lot of greenhouse gases in our atmosphere. And a lot of carbon dioxide, which is the chemical we breathe out. Yes. Which is, yes, that's true. So we gotta stop breathing, people. That's what we gotta do. Or the earth will burn. We will all burn. Stop breathing. Organisms will only evolve to adapt to climate change. And with that, we're signing out for today. Yes. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Comment down below what your favorite season is.